And welcome back to Good Morning Mississippi. Well, culture is such a big part of who we are here in the Delta. This week, we're going to get an opportunity to maybe see just a little bit more of culture that exists in our area. I'm joined with Miss Emily Irwin Jones, Miss Mary Catherine Davis. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, Emily, tell us about what's going on. You're over at Delta State, and you're all about educating uh, and, and having, making sure we're aware of what's here in the history that's here. What's happening uh, this coming week? Um, we've got uh, film documentary uh, folks coming in, Aaron Parks and Kenneth Ng. They're bringing their film, My Life in China, um, to the Delta. And it's a really great opportunity. We, um, we've been able to partner with uh, other organizations across the Delta so that um, My Life in China isn't just going to be shown at Delta State. It's going to be in, the, in another series of communities around mm -hmm. the state. Um, but it's the story of um, one son trying to understand how his father or why his father immigrated to America in the 60s. Um, and, um, you know, a lot of times we think of the story of immigration as um, someone looking for something good and so their life turns better and they succeed once they come to America. Right. And this story is a little bit different. It, it doesn't quite have the happy ending in that successful way, but it does bring this father and son together um, in understanding the struggle and um, the intent for the father to make a better life for his family. And not, so not just a story about culture, but really more of a story about family. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, Mary Catherine, you, you guys at, at Greenville Arts Council are going to get an opportunity to share this film. Uh, what does it mean for you and your community to get a chance to see this? You know, it's really exciting um, to have these independent filmmakers come in. And I feel like a lot of times we focus a lot on maybe the visual arts, the performing arts. But we have to remember that literature and film, you know, these are, these are the arts too. Mm -hmm. So um, it's another really great opportunity to bring that in to support artists. And this is a documentary that's actually traveling all over the United States. It's not just in Mississippi. They're just coming through sweeping the Delta for about a week. Mm -hmm. But I saw on their um, Facebook page, which you can check out, it's just My Life in China, um, that they're, I think, in like San Francisco right now or something. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're just, yeah. they're all over the place. And it's just a really incredible opportunity, especially with uh, the large Chinese population and the culture right. that's here right. you know we just finished up dragon boat and you know me not being uh from here i find it really interesting to come to such a southern region and and, and, and have such a big population yeah yeah, yeah. It's, it's really a big uh part of the community here so we're excited to also um, reach out to that portion of Washington County as well. And, it, and it's interesting because film is playing, seems to be playing a bigger part of who we are here in the Delta and things that are coming. You just had recently some filmmakers come in about mm -hmm. uh, the, really tracing their history and roots back here to the Delta. Absolutely, and it was, again, the Chinese journey. Mm -hmm. um, so this, the Chinese history is, I guess, hot. It's yeah. a hot topic <laughs> right now for researchers. I mean, we have folks that are coming to the Del to Delta State to write about us, to um, make films about mm -hmm. us, and well, about themselves right. here. Right. Um, so that culture is um, it's really important and significant, yeah. but it's also reaching out into scholarly uh, avenues. So right. we're glad something, to help. Something we need to share and take advantage of to learn more of every chance we get. Absolutely. And this is a great opportunity. All right, so when's the showing for both films? Well, we're going to do it. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. We're gonna, Delta, State no, no. Delta State is going to be on the Sunday afternoon at 2. Okay, so this coming Sunday. Yes. Okay. And all of these are free and open to the public. Okay. And then... Mine is going to be a week from today. Okay. It's going to be at 6 o'clock at okay. E.E. Bass and uh, the Jake and Frieda Stein Hall. Okay. Um, also free, open to the public. We invite everybody to come out. There's going to be a little Q&A session with the filmmakers as well. Okay. So, so Sunday, Sunday and then the following Monday, that's this coming Sunday and Monday. If mm -hmm. folks want to find out more information, where do they need to go? MyLifeInChina.org. Okay. Or you can come to Delta State's archive website, which is really long. <laughs> on the Greenville Arts Council we're up Facebook page, right? We'll have it on our Facebook page. We ha also have an event page that we're doing updates on. Um, and actually, uh, Kenneth has been on the My Life in China event page commenting and sharing. And so mm -hmm. you can link up with him and see where all he's traveling, what he's doing with the documentary. Um, and also GreenvilleArtsCouncil.com. Fantastic. Ladies, thanks so much for being here. Yeah, thank Again, you. that's showing this coming Sunday, this coming Monday. Be sure to take a chance and view it if you have the opportunity. Stay with us. We've got more coming up after the break. We'll be right back.